Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Rotwani once again from hyphenadmission.com. In this video, we are going to talk about log file. So it is not the log file which we have seen in the previous videos called log4j or the log files which we generate. Today we are going to talk about the log file which Selenium generates by itself. Till now we haven't seen this log file because sometimes it's not required to see but sometimes you need to debug and if you want to see in depth how these uh, APIs are working right so we have seen that Selenium works on JSON via protocol. So how exactly this API works how this interaction happens if you want to see you can see them via log file. So we are not going to create any log file we are just going to make some changes and we will see how these drivers are communicating with the browsers how these APIs are getting interrupted okay so for Chrome and Firefox we need to do a small change in our program we will just do some set property and these log files will be ready for us for Chrome we just need to mention one property called webdriver.chrome.log file and give the location so whatever commands or whatever APIs it will call it will simply give you in a form of log file same will go for Firefox. For Firefox, we will set one property called browser underscore log file. So whatever uh, Firefox making API calls and whatever the response is coming, all will be recorded under this log file, which we will see. So let me show you uh, via code. So let me quickly create a package. And this package, I will say logs demo. And I will create a class one called Chrome demo. I will write public static void main and I will quickly write program for Firefox and Chrome both. So I will set the property. This set property is like webdriver.chrome.driver. That is for driver and I will give the driver here. Plus I will give the setting now system.set property. And this time we will give webdriver dot chrome dot log file. Okay, let's cross check because even if a small uh, case will not generate the log file. So let's give the driver path. Driver path I already have here, so I will just do the copy paste. And log file I want to generate in my particular home directory which is nothing but project home directory and I will give this chrome dot uh, let's say chrome log dot txt format and I will start web driver driver equal to new chrome driver and I will say web driver dot get any application so to get more log let's use one application called orange HR. so that we will fire at least two three commands so that we'll understand how these apis are working so i will just do two three find element command using then uh, we will do some send keys operation so two send keys one click operation is enough to understand this api call so here i will type admin here i will type admin123 and we need to write the xpath or you can take any other locator so if i just see here guys you can take any application i'm just taking uh, any application because our main intention is to see the log file so i'm taking id here for username and uh, same i will take for password password also we have name property and id and for login button let's quickly see and we have a id called btn login that's very good we have a smart locator and let's run this program and see what exactly happens when you record this log file in a specific location We'll quickly just yes our test is done and you can see our execution also stopped now if you just go back and refresh your project you will see this chrome log.txt right and you can
can see it's a lengthy file. Let me open this in a normal editor. Okay, this is the location. Yeah, and let's open this. It's very okay, let me hope it is visible now. So you can see whenever you make any call, okay, let's say you want to find an element, you want to say switch to alert, switch to window or driver.quit each and every method is firing one API call and you're getting response. So this is a complete log file, okay, uh, which will start the your session. So it is in it session. These are the capabilities which got passed. Okay, all these are settings which is getting passed. And finally, your Chrome is getting started and which driver version you're using, which is your directory. Main thing is this, as, a, as soon as you say, um, driver.get it is firing when navigate command is the url and these are the like it is waiting for pen uh, waiting for pending navigations once it is done it is a status okay and then it will try to find one web element using id locator and this is the value once it is done again it will try to uh, enter the value right so this is find and type so we say driver.find element dot send case but as we know it's two commands right first it will find then it will type so this is one command then this is another command same goes with uh, find um, password field again find element then type and same goes with click as well and if you add one more let's say driver.quit it will add one more command like this you can see the logs so what's happening inside how each and every API is getting called very interesting guys if you want to know in depth selenium so let me also show you for firefox because firefox also have similar feature so i will say firefox log so firefox uh, as we know we will do a small change here for firefox driver this time let me also add driver.quit so that we should see how this quit method is getting called here I will change to Gecko driver. This I will change to Gecko driver. And here, this time I will say Firefox logs.txt and this part will change. So for Firefox, we will write Firefox driver dot system property dot browser log file. Put mouse over, it says system property that defines the location of the file where Firefox log should be stored, right? Now let's run this and see. This time it should generate a log file with fflogs.txt. So it's running our test. Okay, yeah, username, password, and it logged in. Now, if I go back to my project and if I just refresh, uh, just a second yeah. firefox log.txt and let me open this again in normal text editor yeah this one is our file and let me just maximize it so these are some uh, gecko driver warnings or i would say let's say debug trace main thing starts from here Okay, once your connection is established, it will start sending all the commands. Okay, first it navigate, then it will start finding the web elements, and then it will start sending the keys. Okay, you can see it is first finding, and then it is sending the keys. Again, it will find the password field and send the value. And finally, it will do the element click, and it will again wait for the complete response. And finally, it will close the connection right so everything is getting recorded everything is getting called via api and you're getting the result and finally this is getting recorded in a log file so this is how internally uh, log works for keiko driver why we are getting the differences between log files are like firefox logs are different and chrome logs are different because they both are coming from the different vendors right chrome is coming from google firefox is coming from mozilla community so 
implementation is different for both the browsers. That's the reason you're getting the different responses and the different uh, results. So that was a very quick video about the log files. Okay, if, in case if you want to see each and every command. So you can include multiple events in your program and see what logs it is generated. So if you like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And if you have any query, uh, please write to me and I will try my best to answer you. That's all I have for this video and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.